Good morning everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back for another gardening video. So for today's video, I'd figure I'd just give you guys a quick little tour to show you what's blooming. Starting here in my front garden bed, as you can see, my hosta here is peeking through. I have no idea what variety hosta this is, you guys, but this does get huge. It fills in this entire circular space here. So excited to see that in its full glory. I did also pop in a few coleus here as a drift as well as over on the other side there so my theme for my front garden bed this year is just a lot of lime and purples so excited to see it in its full bloom um, my hostas here i have two autumn frost hostas that are also peeking through my lungwort here is just about done blooming um, it was in bloom i want to say it started blooming about a month ago you guys this one's an early bloomer but it was really, really, really gorgeous. Nice hot pink pop of color here. So I will go in and trim those blooms off when they are done. Swinging around this way, this is what I really wanted to show you guys. Look at my ground cover this year. Just get into that sea of purple. So, so glorious, you guys. And this just gets better every single year. When I first started my garden about four years ago, this was one of the first plants that I planted in the ground and I just started with five little plugs that probably took up maybe about this much space right here. They were small little plugs and they have just spread over the years. It's actually starting to spread down towards my little limelight here. And I actually hope to have it fill in all the way over here to my Euonymus. So, love 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 this ground cover this is called chocolate chip ajuga if you guys are interested so low maintenance even after the blooms die back you're still left with this gorgeous like copper tone brownish green foliage that's why it's called chocolate chip so yeah love this ground cover and it does an amazing job at suppressing the weeds so once it's done blooming i will come in and just trim up the sides here these are the shoots that it shoots out every year when it starts to run um and i just don't like how it looks running over my paper so I'll trim that up a little bit later swinging up this way here is what my planter is looking like starting to fill in and bloom again this is the night sky pansy that I showed you guys in my last video I did also go to the garden center and pick up the pink ones so here's what those look like interested to see how these do I did get a comment on I can't remember which video it was I think it was actually my last video um, someone had commented that in the heat of summer, the white spots will go away and then as it cools down, they come back. So we will see how these perform. And then lining my front border here, my Super Tunia Bordeaux are starting to fill in and bloom. You guys, I cannot wait for this just to be a full purple drift. It's going to be so glorious. I did mention to you guys that this is my favorite pansy. I use it every single year and will continue to use it every year. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited, you guys. I love how this bed is taking shape. All behind that, I do have a drift planted of my marguerite sweet potato vine, which will fill in as well. So if I didn't mention, my theme this year is purple and lime. So I do have two hookeras that still are here. They've been here, I wanna say, this might be their third or fourth year as well in the ground. And I just cut them back every year. I want them to stay a nice, small, purple pop of color. And then of course I have the coleus that are purple and lime as well. So those are the theme colors this year. Also, as you can see, my daffodils have come up and are in full bloom. They are so, so gorgeous, you guys. I just, this is definitely my favorite thing in the garden right now. Um, and I was really worried about these, you guys. These were all clearance bulbs that I picked up for 20 cents from Lowe's for the entire bag of bulbs. Um, and I got them in the ground super late. I want to say it was probably the last week in November, almost December. So yeah, I was scared that these weren't going to come up in bloom. They were a little bit delayed this year, but we did also have a super wet winter here. Um, so all of them have blooms except for the one down here on the end. I have no bloom stalk, which is okay. These are supposed to naturalize here in my zone. I am in garden zone 7B, so I'm excited to see multiple of these next year this one here on the end probably will open either today or tomorrow i am going to water these a little bit but let me give you guys a close-up is that not gorgeous i just love how dainty it looks i love the peach and the cream the ruffled bloom it's just oh it's so sweet this is definitely my favorite daffodil so yeah excited about those and i think that's pretty much it 
for my front um, garden bed here. My sedums are coming in nice and lush. Cannot wait to see those bloom later in the summer. And then I also have my lambs here, here coming in nice and lush. I'm not sure if you guys recall from my fall bed makeover, I did cut some of this back and plug it in here to make a full ring. So glad to see that that worked out and it's going to fill in. I did have three bulbs that bloomed this year. These were tulip bulbs. I only had three bloom last year. These are the same blooms. Um, so I'll just cut those back once the foliage turns yellow and dies back to the ground. And I probably will dig these up and move them somewhere else. But yeah, that is gonna be it for my front bed. So, so excited to see this in its full glory. And then down here at my mailbox, this is what this bed is looking like. Not too much difference from when I last planted it and showed you guys. Um, but I'll just show you guys the containers really quick. Here is the super bells they're a little bit closed up just because it's a cooler day today it's only in the 50s and it's very overcast so I figured this will be a perfect opportunity to film for you guys um, and then here is what my sparkling amethyst verbena is looking like again these were the two that I picked up on clearance from Lowe's for two dollars they are making a comeback and then let me show you the other planter starting to fill in nicely. I love, love, love these pink blooms, you guys. I did go back to Lowe's and was able to find two more of these sparkling amethyst, ugh, sparkling amethyst verbena on clearance for $2 as well. So cannot wait to see this entire planter fill in. Then over here is my barberry bed. Everything is looking nice and colorful. Loving it. Look at my Japanese maple, you guys. I'm not sure if you all remember when I first got this tree, I was so excited because I had been on a hunt for a very long time for this particular variety. This is an Anaba Shadar, um, and this was just like a little Charlie Brown tree when I first got it. It hardly had any leaves on it. It was super dried up and crispy. I got an amazing deal on it, and just look at it now, y'all. It is leafing out, and it is starting to take shape, so I'm so excited to see this entire bed just nice, full, lush of color. Also, I did pop in a few pansies that I dug up from my front bed. These were planted last fall. Um, I just decided to pop them here because I thought they'd be a cute little addition here in my elephant planter. Also, my barberries are starting to fill in. Again, these were pretty bare last year when I planted them. Um, again, because they were all clearance plants, but they are starting to take shape and fill out. I'm so excited, you guys. So not much to see over here on this side of the house. This is my shade garden. You guys, please ignore my hose. I still have not got my hose box yet to wrap this up. Um, but I think the last time I showed you guys, I did not have any life showing through on my hostas. They are all peeking through. They all survived the fall and winter. So I'm excited about that. Every single one of them is coming up. Also, my grass is here. These are my Hyconocloas that I cut back. Are flushing out with new growth. Oh no. Got some weeds peeking through. We don't do that here. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, y'all. I'm going to have to get to mulching this bed soon. Summer weeds are seeding. Anywho, another hosta here peeking through. Um, my lilies are coming back nicely. Also, this is a Brother Stefan hosta here peeking through. Another lily here in the front leafing out. And then also another Brother Stefan hosta here. And these two pastas get gigantic you guys so this will fill in a lot of space still want to go in with some more perennials and annuals to fill in the space um, my little hydrangea babies do have some frost damage you guys we had a night that got down into the low 20s and they all got frost damage so so sad but it's okay also some damage here on my lilies as well but i think they'll be okay for the rest of the summer so here's what the backyard is looking like, you guys. Again, still not too much to look at. Everything is still kind of waking up, starting to leaf out. My pink chiffon hibiscus back there is starting to leaf out. My Celine's, y'all, are doing amazing. This perennial, I'm telling y'all, this is probably my favorite perennial at this point. I picked these up from Home Depot last year for $6 a piece. They were super fried and dried. Didn't get many blooms from them last year, but this year, these have just been performing amazing. Like these have almost been in bloom, I wanna say probably like a month and a half at this point, and they will continue to bloom all the way up to the end of fall. So definitely a tough, well-performing perennial. I do also have some cat's pajamas 
Nepeta down here starting to bloom. I need to pull this weed. <sighs> okay, anywho. Oh, look, you guys. My Stella de Oros are starting to bud up as well. Cute little day lily there. Um, so everything's just leafing out, you guys. It looks still kind of messy back here. I still need to come back here and mulch these beds. My limelight tree is leafing out nicely. Also the limelight back there. My wild gelas are starting to leaf out and also bud up. I got no blooms on these last year, you guys. But check this out. I've got buds coming. Oh, I'm so excited. Again, all of these plants in all of these beds back here, every single one was a clearance plant that I rehabbed. So excited to see this bed in full bloom. I know I keep saying that, but y'all, I just can't wait. Like I cannot wait to see the colors. Um, these are Wajilas back here as well. These are the Sonic Bloom. Um, this is the dark foliage variety. This one does bloom hot pink flowers, just has a dark leaf. And then these on the sides have the lighter leaf and also bloom hot pink flowers. My Spareas also bloom pink. And then I have a little Bobo here that is leafing out. Still need to clean up my planter here and remove that tower boxwood. I have a little balloon flower trying to peek through down here. Pretty much the same thing on this side. This bed just mirrors the other side here. I do have some balloon flowers coming up down there. Need to remove the tower boxwood, but the Ligelas, Spireas, everything's looking so lush. This is actually a daisy, I believe. I cannot remember, you guys. I always forget what I have planted here, but I'm pretty sure it's a daisy, so excited to see that bloom. Um, and yeah, again, you guys, not much to see back here. I did want to show you guys the Celines on this side. Y'all, this is my favorite perennial. Like, I feel like I need to have these planted all around my property at this point. They just add so much. Like, I can see that pink. Well, you can't really see it on camera, but I can see the pop of color from this side of the house. So, I love it. Lastly, I did want to show you guys my limelight hydrangea hedge. So everything that I pruned is starting to leaf out nicely. Also, my liriope down here are starting to push out with new growth. I cut those all the way back to the ground. So yeah, everything is doing well. I'm sorry about the wind, you guys. Again, it's a really, really overcast, gloomy day here, but... I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in bloom currently. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos because I will be doing a lot of planting. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And as always, thank you so, so much. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.